made it to Escalante Petrified Forest State Park. We are getting the most out of our money for our state park pass. <laughs> this is our third one this trip. Escalante Petrified Forest Trail. It says it's steep, rugged, and hard. Look at the view of the reservoir though. Up we go. Oh, if we would have grabbed an interpretive guide, we would know what these numbers are. Dang it. Number two is a boulder. Number three is another boulder. But I think this one's a conglomerate. It's like yeah. All right, we're gonna make them up as we go. Um, Almost point two, and we got point, five to go. point three to get to the hey. less strenuous loop. Oh, okay. nature guide number four. Round leaf. Buffalo berry. <laughs> I made that one up, but I'll bet you it's right. There's more of it right there. Christy found some shade. Huh, what do you think? Pretty steep. I don't know why. That was our steepest hike of the day so far and in the heat of the day <laughs> oh well it's 72 degrees <laughs> 72 degrees hot hot though it feels hot desert hot though <clears throat> made it to another sign keeping us on track there's another follow up sign right there to remind us of where we're going because there's another trail over there I believe that's the we're coming down trail. And this is the we're going up trail. Whew. Interpretive guide number 10. We have some petrified half buried trees right there. Look at the crystallizing. Even up here. That is cool. Petrified trees turned to stone. I made it to the upper junction, which is the trail of the sleeping rainbows. We're gonna go check that out. It's an extra 0.7, but well, if you're up here, you just as well do it. You already made the climb because this is up on top of the and why would this be so much more difficult? I don't know. I said this was strenuous, but this is the this easy is part. The last part was hard. This is easy. Okay. Huh. All right. We'll find out. And we're starting to see more and more of these now. That's just I was beginning to wonder why they called it the state park. But just a couple more pieces right there. Piece right one there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now they're starting to pop, right pop up everywhere. And that one. Yeah, we're just seeing pieces and pieces here and there. Another one down there. Oh, look at these uh, the oak brush leaves. Those are pretty. Yeah, All right. A bunch of it right now. now we're going to find out why. This up? trail is strenuous, strenuous, treacherous, treacherous, strenuous. That's a new word. Treacherous, strenuous. 
Trail of Sleeping Rainbows. Here we go. Oh, I see why. It goes down, really down, and then goes really, really back up. All right. Here we go. All right, we're starting to see a whole bunch of it in the trail here. There's one right here is stepping stones. Those are petrified trees. All right, you start seeing them everywhere once you know what to look for. There's a whole bunch right there. I wonder if you can see the tree rings in it. Yeah, you can see some tree rings in there. See the tree rings on that one. Look at this guy. Right there. Look at the look at the marbling on that one. That's pretty cool. Even that one right there. Now we need to see the kind of the bark on that one. That's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. God, you can see the tree rings in that one. That's really cool. And then there's the bark on that one. The bark on this one. Another big one there. Oh, geez. That one's a big one. There's another one there, there. Here, there, everywhere. It's a bunch of them. Okay. That's a hollow log. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Never seen a hollow petrified log before. Look at that big honker right there. And that one, hey, sit on it. Which one, this one or this one? Either one. Those ones are big. That'll work. As big as like a... Honor. Smile. There's some more. It's piled up. That's what mine looks like. Down in this drainage. Ooh, this one has definite uh, growth rings in it. Right there. Look at that. Those are growth rings in a petrified log. All right. I'm figuring out why this is the most strenuous part because we are been going down. Down, 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 down. And we're going to have to go back up to get to where we started. Boy, maybe that rainbow right there is why they call it the Rainbow Trail. All right. <laughs> That's a pretty little canyon in there. I think we found the bottom because look. Uh, yeah, it goes way on down there. Are these interesting looking rocks. They're like little popcorn kernels or something. I think I'm gonna call that wart rock. 
Look at that thing. A rock cairn, it's a petrified wood cairn. <laughs> when it says steep and strenuous, it means that, because this is steep. <laughs> Whoo! Dang. All right then. That was a climb, getting back out of that hole. It was, it was a petrified hole. How do you think that high quest pretty easy? <laughs> That's Dang. a 45 degree. Whew. Cool. And we were basically in the bottom of that canyon down there. Yep. We just hiked back out. <sighs> Beware. If you're not fit to do that climb, don't do it. Stick with the lower loop, not the upper. What that means, Sleeping Rainbow, translated to hiker English means be energized and ready for a climb. That's what that means. Okay, we're back on the main trail again. That's a pretty big piece right there next to that trail guide. There's another one there in the cedar. Another couple there. All right, there's a big one on the main trail. How big is it? It's that big. All right, trail review on this one. <laughs> so I think you'd be probably a little disappointed if you just did the lower loop. I think so. Because there's maybe only a dozen mm -hmm. or so sparsely scattered uh, petrified wood artifacts. Um, but if you do the rainbow loop, it's a strenuous little down and up, but there are hundreds. hundreds. There were hundreds down in there. I got tired of videoing them. There were so many down there, but um, really cool. But if you come to this state park, uh, do yourself a favor, and if you're able to, go do that uh, rainbow loop because you're going to see more. Uh, more petrified wood for sure. Anyway, this main trail though does, I will give it, has the biggest one that we saw. Yeah. Right smack in the middle of the trail. It's probably, I don't know, close to four foot diameter. It was a real big one. If you get up to the top and just, they're like, yeah. I can't do anymore, just go to the left and it's right there. Yeah, but it's a steep climb to get up in here, even on the main trail. Yes. Old rock right there. Kind of balanced right there. It's pretty cool. <laughs>